Hello everyone, this is Abhishek Bhagirwal. This is the second part of product tools in Salesforce CPU. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up filter and alert product tools in CPU. So let's get started. So I'm going to create a new product tool. I'm going to give the name as sample product tool. Type I'm going to select as alert. A scope I'm going to give it as code. I'm going to activate it. Conditions I'm going to select all. And message I'm going to provide as wrong product added. Okay. Evaluation order I'm going to evaluation event I'm going to give it as always. Click save. Now I'm going to provide some error conditions on which this rule should fire. So I'm going to click new. Tested object I'm going to select as quote. Tested field I'm going to select as opportunity type. Operator equals filter type value. And value I'm going to provide as new customer. So what I'm trying to do is when the opportunity type of the code is new customer then i do not want it to allow maintenance any maintenance product so that would be my another condition for the maintenance product but my initial condition is if the uh, opportunity type of the code is a new customer so i'm gonna click save i'm gonna create new condition and I'm going to select quote line, test it field as product code, operator as contents, filter type as value, and value I'm going to give it as MAINT, which is for maintenance. So for product, for maintenance product, product code, it will contain MAINT, meant, which is basically for maintenance. I'm going to hit save. So two conditions I have created, opportunity type is new customer and product code contains maintenance and the conditions I have set as all. So now let's try this product tool. So this is one of the code. I am going to click edit lines. Okay, before going to edit lines, I am going to show you what is the opportunity type which is attached to uh, on this code. So I'm going to open it again. This is our code. This is the opportunity and the type of the opportunity you can see as new customer. Okay. I'll go back to my code. I'll go to edit lines. Now I'm going to click on add products. So I'm going to search for maintenance. So let's say filter maintenance kit. I'm going to select it. Click select. And when I will save, when I will try to save it, it's gonna give me an alert pop up. It says wrong product added, which we have configured. In case of alert, you can still continue and you can still save the code lines. Okay. But in case of validation, you will not be able to do that. Okay. Either I can close it and remove this product from my code line and I can continue as well. So, both the options are available in in case of alert so that was about the alert product tool now let's talk about the filter product tool so i'm gonna remove it and i'll just hit save now let's go back to the product tool now i'm gonna make some changes before that i'm gonna remove the error conditions which are no longer used Now I'm going to select the type as a filter. So in case of filter product rule, the scope will always be product. If I will try to uh, keep the code as scope and I will hit save, then it's going to give me the error that is scope field must point to product for filter type product rules. So I will change it to product message. We do not need because it's a filter product rule conditions all click active evaluation event i am gonna say as load because 
filtration is like there is a list of products and you want to filter out some products out of it so for that i'm giving evaluation event as load and then i'd see it now uh, let's configure uh, some condition uh, on which this this product rule should fire okay so i'm gonna click new i'm gonna select tested object as code and the same condition let's say the same condition we are going to configure the opportunity type equals value as new custom okay now click save so that is our error condition on which this rule will be fired now i'm gonna do an action so because uh, i want to filter out the records that is an action i need to perform okay so i'm gonna click new type i'm gonna select as default filter okay and filter information we need to give so for filter information i have set up a scenario which is like on product there is a field as extras which is a checkbox okay and the same field i have created on product option object as well so when we create product options on let's say on any bundle product then some of the fields whichever product we are selecting in a product option some of the fields gets populated from the product whose api name is same so in our case extras api name is same on product and product option so when we will be creating product option record for a particular product whatever value of the extras field would be there on product it will be populated on the product option record as well okay now what i am gonna do is i'll come back on my uh, action on my product tool action i'm gonna select filter field as this extras field okay and operator i'm gonna select x as equals and value i'm gonna give it as okay now i click save so this is uh, the most part of our product rule is done so what we are trying to do is uh, we are trying to filter out those product options which does have extras where well, extras checkbox as checked okay that's what we are we are trying to do so uh, let's say uh, this is the some of the products and this is our toner recycling product on this product i am gonna select extras as checked and click save okay now i will go to my bundle product this is my copy binding module bundle product in its related uh, as you can see uh, there are some of the options available and some of the features available okay and on one of the features i am gonna select I'm going to make some changes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change. Okay. It is already given. So option selection method I have already provided as dynamic. So what it means is when you will go to, when you will select this bundle product and you will come to this feature, there will be an option to add more products in along with this bundle product or its sub products. Okay. So in that list, in that list, we are going to filter out the records which have extras checkbox as checked. Okay. So for that, to enable that add options link, add options button or link, you need to select option selection method as dynamic on features. Okay. Now I'm going to click save. Okay. And I will come back on my product tool and i'm going to specify this product role for specifically for this copy binding module product and toners features so how i'm going to do that i will come to the configuration rules click new i'm going to activate product i'm going to select as copy binding module and feature i'm going to select as toners okay now i'm going to hit save now let's see it in action okay i'll go back to my code I click on edit lines. I'm gonna select add products, search for copy, copy binding module. I'm gonna select. 
So here you can see under this feature, toners feature, we have an option to uh, select add options. So I'm going to click it as, so as you can see, some of the products are coming here. Not all the products are coming here, but some of the products. So these are the products which does have extras checkbox checked on the product as well as on the product options. Okay. So that's how you can configure your filter group. Now let's try one negative scenario. So on this uh, uh, toners product, toner recycling product, I'm going to go, I'm going to edit it and I'll deselect this extra checkbox and hit save. Now let's go back to our code, click cancel, click cancel and okay, one more time cancel. Now again, click add products, search for copy, copy binding model, select it, click select. Under the toners features, click add options. So as you can see, the toner recycling product is now not available because we are not filtering out those records which does have extras as unchecked. So that's how you set up the filter rule and alert rules. If you like this video, please like it and comment on it. And for more videos, please subscribe my channel as Abhishek Bagherwal. Thank you.